Hey there, if you are a service provider, a coach or a consultant online and you're looking to come up with a way to set up your website fast and you don't have the necessary resources, uh, time or skills, you are in the right place because in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can set up your website on Canva in 20 minutes. Yes, 20 minutes. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and create the website. Like I mentioned, we will be creating this quick mini website in Canva. So I'm inside my Canva dashboard. All you have to do is create, click on create a design and just search for website. And then choose that uh, dimension. So now we are inside the website kind of base uh, in Canva. You can choose a template. I'm just going to scroll and look at a few templates and then choose one. Um, so this one looks good. I will also, I think this is the one that I will use. And I'll look at all the pages and it's pretty decent. So I'll just go ahead and uh, click on apply all pages and then I'll just change uh, the details here so I'll put in my name and a tagline I can also change the photo here so I'm just going to go into my uploads and look for a photo just going to be a while so you can either use a frame here or directly upload a photo in into the upload section and then choose it i'm just gonna scroll a little bit further okay so what this means is you should use the folders in canva to uh, be in a position to find your photos whenever you need them but just give me a second yep this is the one i want so i'm just going to use this photo and i'm going to go back and so this is going to be the first page um, here I will just do an about me and I can just maybe use my logo here or just uh, leave it I can maybe use a different photo you can also just use your logo here instead of photo since I have the photos open right now I'll just use a photo and drag it okay about me i am a marketing tech expert helping solopreneurs and small businesses get over the tech over okay about you can also change the font size here so and of course you can customize the color so i've opened my uh, branding colors here i'll just use the colors um, so i'm just going to copy the hex code and paste it here and this one I'll change the color of the text and maybe make this blue as well change the pink to blue 
you get the idea right you can use your colors this pick is probably not the best to use here but that's okay similarly you could change the colors here for the pink maybe i'll keep this yellow okay and again change the colors so just customize the colors as you want and just customize the text so services offered here is where you can talk about your services so for these images you could just use stock photos so i could just use some stock photos here uh, like this one and just reduce the size and then you could write the name of your service so uh, setting up launches i take care of all the launch technology and integrations for your launches then you can have a different picture it's just a little slow because i am recording this video otherwise it it's pretty fast and again uh tech audit so whatever your main services are, you can add them here. Uh, call to help audit marketing. Okay. I'm just writing some random things right now. So you get the point, you can add all your services here. I'm gonna to go to the next page and customer reviews. Uh, again, changing the colors of the background. So to change a color, you just have to click on it and it'll show, it, show up here and then you can change it. So for example, I just clicked on this and I can change the color. Just click on the text, you can change the text. I'll just say love notes. And you can change the text for this here. And then I'm just gonna add some testimonials. Uh, you can add text here as well. I'm just gonna remove the text. Just add screenshots. I just clicked on it and just hit delete. Oops deleted the box okay looks like the blue box is gone but that's okay we can always create it again so for that you can just go here click on that blue box and hit Control c for copy and come here and control v paste and then yellow one control c copy and then come here control v paste oops okay just drag it down so i dragged it down and then i have to push it back so position and back so that it does not cover the place where you have to write it so i'm just going to select it and go to position and push it back yep so that's how we want it so now i'm just going to add some screenshots uh, of some testimonials 
of course you can just have images of people who've given you a testimonial and chain the copy but i just like for me this is way quicker and again i'm just sh showing it to you so you can do it the way you want it to do so i'll just add a few you can also just edit the template as it was and just uh, upload the pics of people who've given you testimonials and then write the copy. Of course, you want to kind of take permission uh, to use pics of people who've given you testimonials. And then the last thing is get in touch again. You can have your own pic here or you can have a testimonial pic or you can have a pic just like a stock photo. I'm just going to see if I can use some random pick. Okay, I'll just use a stock photo for now, but you get the point, right? You can use any kind of pics. So I'm just going to use a random pick right now. And just delete that boxes. and then get in touch. So here is what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, say book a free 15 minute consultation. And I'm gonna remove everything else. And then I'm just gonna say click here book a call and I'm going to increase the font size for that and here I'm going to add a link so here when you click on these three buttons you'll be able to see this link option and I'm going to add a link to my call scheduler so I'm going into acuity if you haven't watched the previous video uh, I think it was episode three of what the tech show check it out because I show you how to set up your acuity uh, platform for free. So this is the link. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to add it as a link here. So now if someone clicks on this, they'll be taken to my call scheduler. And then to publish this, I'm going to just click on it and hit the website and then it'll give me options. I want to use the classic navigation. So I'm going to choose classic navigation and I don't know why it's not letting me choose it, but let's see if it uses classic navigation. Yep. So you can see, uh, you can see the navigations here. So you can choose about me and it'll take you to the about me page services offer will take you there. Uh, love notes and book a 15 minute consultation. So you can change this by changing the name here. Shweta Dawar. And then I'm just going to okay. publish classic navigation, open website, and you can see it's Shweta Dawar now. So, yeah, so this is it. You have your website ready. You can just share uh, this link with them. So, uh, this link right here you can go to bitly.com to customize this link and so you just create a shorter link so paste the longer link and hit create and it'll give you the shorter link you can customize it shweta Gower website and save and then you copy this link, go to a new tab. I'll just show it to you and paste it. And this is my website about me, services offered, love notes, book a 15 minute call. You can actually under services offered, you can also create a link for these. So then when someone clicks on it, 
clicks on this link, it actually takes them to your call scheduling page. So I hope this makes sense. I hope this helped. If it did, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.